the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 185 with Empress. So, a rock metal nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. As I have just heard this crawl by Empress, who I've got on the show with me right now. They've got a new single up, which you just heard a sample of, called Crawl. The plans to release a new single soon, and right now I'm being joined by Karina Charbonnier to share some stories about the music and share more info about the band. So, Karina, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely, great to have you on. Let's go listen back to that track, Crawl.
Tide coming back from Crawl. Now, current single, definitely a massive, epic chorus singing about breaking down walls and whatnot. I'm curious, Karina, what is the story or inspiration behind Crawl? Uh, well, uh, first, uh, when I write uh, lyrics, I always put my heart on the table. I talk about my experience and I take my my emotions into the song, uh, strong emotions like doubt sadness, uh, anger. Um, I really want people to identify to my lyrics and to feel maybe less alone. Uh, so crawl, uh, I think crawl can touch everybody because we all go through uh, rough patches in our lives. Uh, so I wanted to show people that they're not alone. Uh, I wanted to motivate them to accept and overcome difficulties. And that's what the song is about. You know, the, the Empress faces uh, around demons in, in the song. For Rock Nation, who dug the track Crawl, be excited to know that there is a lyric video. So if you go and go to today's show notes, that's www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. You can see the lyric video for Crawl. So I'm curious, Karina, if you could take us behind the production of the lyric video for Crawl. Yeah. Yes, well, uh, first, uh, Eddie and I uh, produce uh, the videos, uh, the lyric videos. Uh, we all do uh, by ourselves, and uh, we really take our uh, our inspiration uh, with other lyric videos that exist. And again, uh, we try to um, to really take image that images that can um, maybe yes uh, express our emotions and the emotions that I had at the moment uh, when I wrote this song. Uh, and then if there, there are the, the lyrics on the screen too, so the, the, the audience can really understand what it is. It's, it's important for me that uh, the people can understand the lyrics. Excellent. Let's go and listen to the next track, Your Prize.
Metal Nation. It's John from the Rock Metal Podcast. For a real quick break to let you know that Jay over at Metal Mayhem Radio is looking to help you get your band in rotation on his station. So go ahead and hit up Jay at studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. That is studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. Just go ahead and say that the Rock Metal Podcast sent you. He'll get you into rotation on Metal Mayhem Radio. All right, come back from your prize. Now, this is the single from... Um, 2017, correct? Yes. Cool, cool. It definitely has a very epic intro. Now, I'm curious, similar question as to Crawl, what is the story or inspiration behind Your Prize? Uh, Your Prize was the first song that I wrote for uh, Empress. Um, and it's really personal. It's really about uh, precise experience in my life. Uh, it talks about someone who tries to outmatch the real impress uh, and tries to claim the prize that she may ne- have never have because it's the impress who has it so it's it's really about someone who put up all sorts of lies to outmatch me if i can say it like that so it's, it's very personal wow cat fight <laughs> <laughs> gotta take that bitch down <laughs> all right cool cool well that's awesome now um you mentioned that it was obviously a very personal experience. It seems like a common theme between the two tracks is that you get, you don't hide behind metaphors. It seems like you get straight to the point and just lay your feelings out in the music. Yes. All right. Now, for Rock Meditation, you dug the track, your prize. If you go and go to today's show notes, that's www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. You go and see the lyric video. Now, similar question, what is the, or can you go ahead and take us through the production of the lyric video for your prize? Uh, yeah, well, it's the same thing. It has been produced by uh, Eddie and I. And, um, you know, it's, the, it's our first song, and we really wanted to put the... Uh, and faces, maybe I don't know if we say it like that. The long farms mm-hmm. on the um, the raven because uh, I have a raven uh, tattooed on my uh, shoulder, and uh, it's oh. like the the symbol uh, of the band. Uh, so we really uh, try to incorporate the raven in the video. Mm-hmm. I'm curious, what makes the raven the emblem or mascot even for the band? It's always been a, a special symbol in my life because it makes me think about um, something that p- people see the raven like <laughs> a dirty animal, uh, uh, an animal that eats uh, other animals, but it's I see it like a, a really strong animal, and I, I think that's why I, I've always liked uh, this symbol. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Now, with your prize being the first song that you guys wrote together, I'm curious, how did that process uh, feel when writing the first track in comparison to writing Crawl? Were things um, maybe smoother during Crawl, or how was the whole writing process between um, the two? Tra- well, first, um, Eddie and I uh, write the songs together, um, and we are always on the same wavelength because we are always um, attracted by the same kind of melancholic vibe, introspective music. Um, And for your prize, it it really was, um, well, as you said, it was our first song. So it was um, maybe the beginning of something. We we didn't really uh, know what we wanted to do with the song uh we had different ideas but we worked together since and for crawl we we really knew each other more so yes it it was easier for crawl Mm -hmm. cool now something you mentioned earlier on was working on a new single and then eventually working towards an album so karina if you wouldn't mind taking us through what's coming up next for empress yes but uh, we will release a new song um it will be maybe a little more heavy uh, but still catchy uh uh, no grunts again we don't want to uh, incorporate uh, grunts for now Uh, we wanted to uh, keep it 
more um, accessible for for everybody. You know, I can show my songs to uh, my family, my boss, and uh, even uh, friends who don't listen to metal music. I can show them my songs. So I want to keep it uh, catchy and accessible. Uh, so uh, the next song will also will also uh, feature uh, guests. Uh, Yes, so uh, that's what I'm saying for the moment. Um, and for the future, um, we will work probably on an EP or an album, but I, I can't say much right now about it. Perfect. All right, so for Rock Metal Nation, who wants to find out more about you guys, is there a place on the web that they should go to check you out? Yes, well, uh, you can uh, follow us on uh, Facebook. Uh, so facebook.com slash impress QC uh, for uh, QC for Quebec City. Uh, you can also follow us on Bandcamp. So impress QC dot bandcamp.com and if you want to know more about our personal lives you can follow us on Instagram we are Empress underline band uh, yeah on Instagram we put a little more of our personal lives what we do in our spare time uh, we show our pets our home and everything <laughs> cool cool all right well Karina unless there's anything else you wanted to throw out there I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come onto the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing Empress with Rock Metal Nation. Well, thank you very much for having me, and I hope you will enjoy uh, the next song. Metalation. Hopefully you just found your new favorite band in Empress. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all of the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation.